what is going on guys welcome to my little six week i don't want to call it a six week shred but it's kind of like a little six week consistency phase because your girl has been on the go like everywhere i had started and we moved and it was also my birthday in january and then Alfley shoot, go shoot, back to Houston, sisters, bachelorette, wedding, Europe. It's been, I've been all over the place. And this is like the final little pause until things are probably gonna pick up pretty soon. Um, my sister's pregnant and then Josh's brother and his wife are having a baby in November. So I feel like we have this little like chill moment. When you go from competing, if you guys watch my older videos where my channel started on competing and then going from you know last year at this time or not even over a year ago now i started intuitive eating and i've been maintaining pretty well i did a cut um at the beginning of last year and then went into an intuitive eating phase and has just been kind of rolling with that but i was craving i feel like i have a piece of dog hair on my lip <laughs> I have been craving just consistency and like you're doing this this day blah 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 so it felt perfect timing because my travel's over we finished with Mexico for my friends when we're starting our strong girl summer challenge with our team so I spent this first full week just getting down the basis so in my full day of eating I am just tracking my meals now and seeing where I fall and that's kind of how I would start a fat loss reverse dieting phase whatever your goal is but you haven't been consistent and you're like where do so I many start? things out there I know it can be so confusing my number one tip to start out for this week one and we'll follow this together is just start tracking your food in an app I like to use my fitness pal um, I have it connected to our team app too so it makes things really easy uh, so I can see all of my data there just tracking things in the app and seeing where you fall and then from there into week two and we'll take this week by week into week two that we could look at our data for the entire week see how you know our numbers fell from protein carbs fats and then adjust from there so that's what I'm gonna do this week one I'm posting a full day of eating you guys like the last one and honestly I don't mind filming full day of eatings at all I'm like oh this is fun um, and giving you guys some meal ideas along the way too. So I'll still include the macro breakdown of these meals since I actually did track them in the app and I can have a good understanding of that. And it was eye-opening. I learned that I eat way more fat than I thought. Um, I used to go from eating like a super low fat diet with competing and bodybuilding and all that to naturally gravitating to eating more fats. And, you know, looking back to, I actually have regular periods now and I have been dealing with PCOS since I was 18 and started getting a cycle and became a woman. And I always had really irregular periods, like six months would go by and I wouldn't have a cycle and, you know, I went on birth control and all that. And I'm actually having pretty regular cycles, a little bit longer in duration, but actually like having them on time and <laughs> a little bit regular. So I definitely will contribute that to eating a little bit more fats naturally and my body like craving that overall. So that was interesting too. Protein wasn't as bad as I thought, but there are some days where I'm really inconsistent and something that I realized is, you know, some days are super busy and hectic and then I forget to eat and just let time go by and that really hurts my protein goal overall. So just making it a point to like have structured meals and following a schedule and all of that. I was weighing in at 140.6 and then throughout the week I hit like instantly the next day I was down to 138.2. Also no two. Um, and this is something, you know, this is why you don't want to make rash decisions day to day is because after a leg day for example I'm a pound heavier the Overall, next day like even after a rest day I usually weigh in a little bit higher and then obviously too like after a free meal and stuff like that so I am keeping track of my weight as well I'm not really doing measurements or anything but I'm going to do progress videos and photos and make sure I'm checking in with myself every week and I would highly highly recommend doing this if you do not have a coach um, another thing too like I said and reiterating that do not make day-to-day -day rash changes because if you you want to look at things as a whole for the entire week especially if you're doing weigh-ins and you're in a fat loss phase for example you don't want to just do one weigh-in per week because it really doesn't give you the big picture say it was after a free meal or maybe after a leg day you're gonna weigh in a little bit heavier and you know if fat loss and weight loss is the goal you know that's discouraging and from there you're gonna be kind of beating yourself up of like what did I do wrong it could go either way it could be like I'm gonna go to extremes or I, I give up and I'm not motivated 
automated anymore. So we don't want that at all. So take your data for the week. I track everything in our team app as well, uh, which has a lot of cool variability and stuff like that. I can see like my weight log and everything. And that's what I use for my clients. And it's really helpful there, but make sure you're logging everything and look at everything as data. So again, collect it throughout the week. It might not be the best way in one day. It's okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of variables play a role there from sleep, stress, again, training intensity that kind of goes into stress as well and inflammation. There's so many different factors. So take everything for the entire week, log everything and see as a whole. So moving into week two, I'll save that for week two of what I'm going to do. But basically like a little heads up is after week one, what I'm going to focus on next is looking and then fine tuning my macro goals and having set targets. So first will obviously be protein and then I'm going to fill in the gaps with carbs and fats and having like a clear cut goal of if you want to reverse or if you want to cut or if you just want to stay at maintenance, that's going to be really important too. And we'll talk about that in week two. For dinner, we have Parmesan crusted chicken in the air fryer. And then I did garlic potatoes, little mini potatoes here. And then some asparagus and I just threw this in the oven. I put garlic powder, parsley, a little bit of um, salt on that too. And then yeah, that's gonna be dinner and I'm gonna watch my guilty pleasure TV show of Two Us Handles, so. And now we have the nightcap, y'all. This is the best combo ever. So this is my protein ice cream that I make in my Ninja Creamy. It is amazing. I use Fairlife Milk, uh, a scoop of the Ghost Oreo Birthday Cake protein powder, which is a must. I also use a tablespoon of sugar-free cheesecake jello, cause it's kind of like an Oreo. I'm kind of go going for like a chocolate Oreo cheesecake one tablespoon of this and then i do four of the little oreo thins if you do not have a ninja creamy i highly recommend like this this is so good like it, it it even just tastes good it's not just like protein ice cream gross you can make anything and it is amazing ninja creamy sponsor me not really but <laughs> i also just finished the night with one of these sparkling ice drinks and that is the full day of eating Thank you guys for tuning in. All right, that will conclude the video. Like I said in my last talking clip, I will be going through this week to week for these six weeks. So if you like these kind of videos, full days of eating, uh, the process of a, you know, consistency, fat loss phase, what have you, drop a little comment down below. Let me know, give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting. I will put any details on everything in the description box down below and I'll talk to you guys next week.